Well, up to 50 a million Americans avoid dairy products because they believe they're lactose intolerant and they may be missing out on some essential nutrients. So here to discuss the difference between dairy sensitivity and lactose intolerance and a dairy digestion test are celebrity chef Melissa D. Arabian and nutritionist Dr. Lana Franzen. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Thank you for being here. I think we really need to spell this out. There's two things going on here, right? There's a dairy sensitivity and then there's lactose intolerance. How do you know the difference? Well, dairy sensitivity is one type of food sensitivity to lactose. And what we're concerned about is the fact that people that, um, that may be sensitive to dairy and lactose intolerant may actually be avoiding dairy and completely unaware of the consequences of when they're not including dairy in the diet. So when you avoid dairy, you are missing out on essential nutrients like calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin D, which all help build and support strong bones. And milk is also a good source of protein, which helps build and repair muscles. So it's a really unique nutrient package that you don't want to miss out on. So here in Wisconsin, we love our cheese, we love our <laughs> dairy. So if you have a, a sensitivity or intolerance to dairy, it kind of feels like having the plague here. How can we incorporate it in our <laughs> diet if we think we might have some stomach issues when we eat it? Well, believe me, I married a Frenchman, so you know you know how the French are with the, with all their their cheeses. And my husband is sensitive, is sensitive to dairy, and my daughter also is sensitive. We noticed that they weren't feeling well after they were eating certain dishes, so we pinpointed down to their lactose intolerance. So that's when I partnered with Lactaid um, because I wanted to bring back in some milk into our diet so that I can make one recipe for the whole family to enjoy. So by using Using lactose-free milk, my whole family can enjoy one one meal mm -hmm. all together. But you know, you bring up something very interesting. Not all dairy is necessarily really high in lactose. Now, lactose is just the natural occurring sugar that appears in milk. But you know, some aged cheeses such as cheddar, Swiss, Colby, they are much lower naturally in lactose. So if you're lactose intolerant and you want your cheese, you've got some pretty good news there. Yogurt, also a great option because of the life cultures. It is digested a lot more easily by folks who are lactose intolerant. I think that's great information and I, I do believe that one thing families really like is the fact of what you said of making one recipe that the whole family can eat. So are there certain lactate products or, or recipes that you really love that have become a staple in your household that you can share? Well, you know, Lactate does have a slew of products available, you know, from cottage cheese to, um, you know, to ice cream to, you know, various milks. And there are a whole slew of recipes that you can find on Lactate.com. But you know what else is there? There's a digestion test to see if you are dairy sensitive due to lactose intolerance. So people can pop over there and sort of see, hmm, I'm suspecting that maybe I might be lactose intolerant. Can I take the dairy digestion test and see? You know, Interestingly, people can also develop lactose intolerance over time. So if you were drinking milk fine as a child, but you hit your 40s and suddenly milk just doesn't agree with you, you, know, you might suspect lactose intolerance in that case too. All right. Thank you, ladies. I'm going to take that test while eating a bag of cheese curds. How's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thank you. Absolutely. For more information, you can visit the website they mentioned. It's lactaid.com.